G'day guys, what's going on? It's Cody Orgle here, coming to you guys with a video today. I'm going to be showing you guys my surly long haul trucker behind me here, going through the gear setup and what I packed for my current Europe trip. We're in France at the moment. We're at a chateau, which is a ruins of a castle. Chateau meaning castle. And there is some ruins around here. As you guys can see, um, we've got like what used to be um, rooms and things like that. That's also the entrance of the castle over there. But today, we're here for this thing, my surly long haul trucker. And um, I'm gonna go through everything on the bike with you guys and share you guys this setup and what I brought for this trip. So just quickly, let's just quickly go over the surly itself. I'll point out what's changed since the last video I did, uh, I, I think maybe two years ago, if that. And if you guys are interested in that video, it'll be linked up here in the top right corner. Okay, so first off, let's start with the front of the bike. So we've got the helmet here. We've got the front rack that we always used to have on this bike. It's kind of um, just fixed on there with these little clamps here. There isn't an appropriate hole to fix it on the bike, but I've just included this on here for utility, but that was always on the bike anyway. But it's really cool because I've got some new fat tires on this one. T Riddlers, and there's some nice chunky 44 centimeter tires, I think, um, and they're being really good. So they fit there and they also fit in the, in the Navara fork that I do have. And I also did fix on some bottle cages on either side, propped up a little bit higher so I can store bottle cages there. And we also upgraded to Sora, Shimano Sora. So I'm slowly sort of upgrading all of that. So we got Shimano Sora, Shimano Sora, um, new cassette, rear cassette, new chains, front derailleur, all that stuff. So it's all being upgraded. Also, we did get another New saddle on this one, the Brooks saddle, but I got that back in Australia and it's been pretty good. But anyway, let's move on. So, as you guys can see here, we have a solar panel just fixed on because I've got these two um, drink bottle bags that are hanging from the drop handlebars and it's just attached onto there like that so I can get a little bit of charge as I ride. And then what I do is I feed my phone or battery pack, whatever I'm charging into my frame bag, the Blackburn frame bag that I have here. And the one thing that's different to this setup is I don't have a handlebar bag. So what I've done, this is my tent. So I have my tent, it's got these really cool straps on it. So I just strap it straight to the handlebars and it still leaves me room to ride the handlebar. Um, and yeah, it's the Denali Zypher 1 tent and it just sits in there like that. Seems to work pretty well. Also, on the handlebars, I have attached uh, a mirror, which isn't quite that useful at the moment because we're in France and they drive on the right side of the road, but eventually, I think when we get to the UK, it should come in use. Um, but that was very handy. Uh, if you guys don't know, that was gifted to me from a random lady that picked me up off the side of the road and took it to her house. She gave me that um, when I was in Australia. So that's gonna be very handy and always is handy to have um, a revision mirror there for a replacement for handlebar bag I have this Ros wheel attack sort of like um, petrol tank style bag where I store all my stuff in there but yeah I got these are really cheap bags I'll have links down below for all this stuff but some of it from Alibaba and these bags are like five dollars which is really cool and they've been pretty pretty good which is good so I use this for a water bottle but then also store my Joby gorilla pot in there as well um, over here, we've got my um, phone holder, which did cop a bit of a beating on the transit over here in the box. So it's deemed fairly useless because it doesn't hold the, the phone in there firmly enough to be efficient. So, um, but anyway, if that wasn't broken, that's always useful. It's always good to navigate hands-free and stuff on the bike. Okay, and then also down here in the bottom bottle cage holder, we have the Tranja methylated spirits with a very, very, very tight clearance there on the wheel. And then there's also another bottle cage here for additional water that I can probably just fit in there if I wanted to. There's also room here as well. This bag, cool thing about this bag is it does fold up so you can have half the size frame bag. But I like to use the space in there to fill it right up. One of the cool things about this bike setup that is something to consider if you're getting into bicycle touring or anything like that is to have a even weight distribution. So I've got some weight in the, in the middle of the frame and then at the front and at the back. My previous tours I've just had most of the weight at the rear and it wears down the back tires quicker and it just doesn't ride as smoothly. So this setup is a bit more smoother which is great. So previously on this bike I did have butterfly bars 
which don't get me wrong, they're great bars, but I just wanted to try a drop bar setup on this surly to see how I go. It's been working pretty well, but I do miss the extreme comfort you do get with the butterfly bars. However, drop bars are just more badass looking, so I kind of enjoy them a bit more in terms of the um, aesthetics point of view. But anyway, let's move on to the petrol tank. Um, which I find is a very handy storage solution. So at the moment I've just got my uh, my little French, I think is a police dude, that I picked up on the side of the road. So he is the current mascot for France. Um, and then also I just store cutlery and stuff or whatever, randoms in there. Normally sometimes the phone goes right in there as well for navigation and such. But if we just open this up, show you guys what else we've got in here. Um, so at the moment I've got a charger I just got from the flea market which is compatible for France power points and stuff um, and then in here is just like toiletries so just got toothbrush, toothpaste and then shaving gel um, and the shaver should be in there as well but yeah that's somewhere else still still trying to figure out the organization of everything because it's only been a couple of days of touring but we'll get there eventually okay, so moving on to the frame bag this is a really nice frame bag that is quite budget friendly we've got some space here to store some stuff here which is great but inside the bag what I've done is I've taken out the poles and the pegs for the tent so then I can I'm able to sort of squeeze the bag up on itself to have room to fit between the handlebars and I just store the tent poles in the frame bag with the tent pegs um, and then I've also got some B12 in there as well um, we have a repair kit that fits in there got the wallet in there also a spare camera we've got the GoPro um, we have some bike milk or some lube for the chain. Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, yep, so we've got the bike lock that goes in there as well. And then we've got a spare um, selfie stick, which is great for like long extension kind of ride shots. Haven't used that yet, but we'll get to it eventually. Some odd receipts and stuff. Um, and then we just got like power points. And this is um, the USB extension for my solar panel that's over there and right at the bottom we have a spare tube as well also one of the cool things about this bag is it has a velcro intersection so you can add dividers in there to divide up you know whatever you've got in there but I just like to have it fully open so I can take optimal um, advantage of the space in there and on the other side of the Blackburn frame bag this is where I store all of my spare tools spare parts and all of that kind of stuff so we've got a Ziploc bag with just loose tools and um, screws, bolts, um, some spare brake cables and all that kind of stuff. Spanner for the Brooks saddle, um, you know, all those kind of tools and stuff. And then another Ziploc bag with zip ties. Some other spare tools for the V-brakes. Yeah, just some other tools in there as well. So this is just the tool zip, but yeah. Alright guys, so moving on to the rear section of the bike. We have two classic Ortlub panniers on the rear there. On top of the back rack, we have a sleeping pad, a sleeping bag. A very lightweight sleeping bag because it is summer at the moment in Europe. Nothing too thick to keep you too warm because it's not that cold at night and some classic Haviana thongs as well and then we just have that jockey strapped on with um, uh, a jockey strap and then we have a pump here as well just mounted on the side there so if we just take off the jockey strap you see that we have the thongs um, so this sleeping bag is just something I thrifted it's a Triton simple 600 it's only to 15 Celsius so 0.6 of a kilogram pretty lightweight thin material uh, sleeping bag but it works pretty good at the moment and then on the back again we have a Thermarest shout out to CP he gifted this to us just on this trip so for to open up the right side pannier um, this is MacPack. This um, used to be the bag for my inflatable mat that um, got wrecked so I don't use that anymore but this is actually a pillow travel pillow that I've folded up and I've just put it in this bag and then inside here 
is just all the bits and bobs of all sort of electric leads and, and um, batteries and all that kind of stuff I use for filming. So again, inside there is just like a hard drive. We've got like connectors for SD cards and battery charger for the cameras. Um, and then just a bunch of just USB wall adapters and other leads for um, GoPros and all that kind of stuff. And then lastly in this bag is a bag inside a bag. I'm currently using this really quality bag um, that fits in pretty much everything that I want to take into a shop or whatever that is um, potentially you know, expensive or something that I don't want to get stolen. Just goes on my back and you know all the things I'll need to write a blog post, edit videos or any of that kind of stuff. So inside this bag I have my laptop. Um, laptop, charger, headphones, um, book. This also has my drone in here as well. So this is just my small DJI Spark. And then that's it for the main compartment. And then inside here um, is just a cover that I use for my old Beats headphones for microphone, um, batteries for the camera, and the camera when I want to store it away just for added protection. Um, a dog chewed up um, glasses case with my glasses in there the controller for the drone um, some deodorant and then also just some boarding passes and other stuff that could probably just go on the bin too much added weight that is and then last but not least we have the other rear pannier and then I have a jacket sitting up there also, we've got um, just a sleeping bag bag that I've got all my clothes in. So they're nice and organised. Like my previous tours, I just sort of stuff my clothes in, and I found like having it inside a bag a bit more organised, a bit easier, just to have everything all in one place, and easy to access. And then we have a tranger right there. Cooking down the very bottom is another bag with all of the food that we currently have at the moment inside there and then also in here we've got some matches just chucked in there um, diary the pen and then also passport and shape and another pen but yeah guys that's it for my surly long haul trucker bicycle touring setup for Europe. Also if you guys want to um, check out the adventure and see what we've been up to I'll have a link in the corner right here for the playlist so you guys can uh, track along and watch the adventure. So yeah thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up, drop some comments down below and um, hit that subscribe button as well and I'll see you guys in the next one.